parking in the bay. So I'ma send the food to your face. It's my secret safe. I'm Today is Saturday, April the 22nd, 415. As y'all see, I am in a new location. I'm currently back home. And today, it's actually raining outside. I was doing homework earlier. I didn't go to sleep last night until about 2-ish because I didn't get here until about 11. So, yeah, y'all already know how that probably went. So, right now, me and my mom want to go to Smithfield. Smithfield is basically an outlet. It's called Smithfield Outlets. We're gonna go to the Crocs store. Probably, I may go to Victoria's Secret. Bath and Body Works also had a text. They sent me a text and they said they have $13 three-wick candle. And y'all know that's a deal because they usually about $25. So yeah. The only thing is it's raining. I mean, it's not raining too bad, but yeah. So that's the plan as of right now. I took a shower, as y'all see. My fit, I got a graphic tee on. I love this graphic tee. The cheetah, love cheetahs, and the orange. Bubba slides, pretty simple. I gotta get some more shoes, y'all. If I see some shoes, I really want some New Balances. So, New Balances, I'm gonna go to their outlet too. So, yeah, today's gonna be a great day. I love Chit Chain. Y'all gonna go to the outlets with us. And yeah, see y'all later. Bye. We made it. We about to go in Crocs. These are super cute. My mom likes these. Hey y'all, it's your boy Nolan. Got that map beep, no limit, baby. Give you that black car, no limit. Just know when you roll with a nigga like me, there's no limit, baby. Say, uh, no limit. I see murder, murder, murder that. No limit, baby. Hey, y'all. Hey. Um. Hopefully, I got a different battery in here to change. But today is freaking Monday, y'all. No, I lied. Today is Tuesday. Y'all see, I got some new glasses. These are my new glasses. How y'all like? I definitely wanted to go for something different because if y'all been watching me, my last glasses were clear. So this is completely different. But over the weekend, y'all, you want nothing too much going on from when the last time I had shit dealing with y'all, whatever. But I'm on the way to get a facial and I'm gonna update y'all when I get my facial because of course your girl done waited last minute to leave. Hey y'all, so I have left my facial and it was amazing. It was a 10 out of 10. It is a 9.28. So your girl, her facial was amazing y'all. Her name is Jess. I do go to the Hands in Stone in Winston. So if you're in Winston-Salem or the nearby area, check out Jess because the massage, the whole experience. She was amazing, customer service. Everything top notch, it was given. 
and I did have <laughs> she called it a volcano when she popped my <laughs> pimple because that thing really did look like a volcano that's that's the crazy part but I picked up some retinol she said she feel like it's missing from, from my routine and I just feel like something is missing from my routine too it is a dermalogica product so I've been trying to tap into dermalogica I recently bought the exfoliant if you guys watched my previous vlog and I've been loving the exfoliant I feel like this exfoliant is already kind of working and I mentioned it to her that my concerns were my acne my congestion and so she recommended me this so it's a retinol clearing oil she said it works very fast it says clear skin overnight active clearing it also says at the top breakouts plus skin aging two problems one solution it says this is a high performance night oil combines retinol and salicylic acid into one skin soothing formula it says time release retinol helps reduce the visible signs of premature skin aging salicylic acid helps clear breakouts so yeah i didn't want to buy nothing extra because i did spend 112 dollars and my skin has honestly been like kind of one of my insecurities like it's not bad to the point where I don't want to take pictures or I don't feel like I'm cute but it's something that I wanted to improve and like being kind of like on my mind so I'm like you know what I get it because it's something missing in my skin routine so yeah and the indication says for the treatment of acne so that's the main thing for this your girl is hungry. I'm honestly ready to sleep. I dreaded freaking leaving because I was just so happy to, you know, be relaxed. And I was so just, you know, but yeah, it's 931, like I said, y'all. And I'm about to, I don't even want to look at my account, yeah. I'm about to find me some food. I My period is on, so I'm going to get what I want. I'm between Little Caesars, one or KFC because KFC got like the new chicken nuggets but I haven't had little seeds in a minute and I know I can just easily warm that up the next day so which one y'all think I'm gonna choose comment down below which one y'all think I'm gonna choose I really don't know I don't know but yeah we'll see so yeah hey y'all so there I'm it back home I didn't end up getting what I really wanted because Little Caesar, I gonna pull up, right? And I just felt like in my intuition that something was, something was gonna be off. And they gonna tell me, "Hi, we're currently closed. We're out of pizza boxes." So I pull around. They have a whole pizza box, like they're just blocking the whole glass. I was just like, thank you. You know, I'm just changing, trying to be nice because you be nice, the positivity would come. But yeah, I went with my second option. Okay, I've seen, I didn't end up getting the nuggets. So I'm going to try them in can for y'all. I got the 12 piece coming up. This is a little in the 12 piece. It comes in a box like Chick fil A. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm seeing here. Wrapped up, gonna watch the Aris new vlog. Oh, yeah, because I honestly don't have my tripod, so y'all kind of gonna be at a weird angle. These are the nuggets. It says 100% white meat. It literally looked like the freaking Chick fil A nuggets. Yeah, I hope y'all can see that. It does taste good though, y'all. So I kind of got cold a little bit. And it came with a biscuit. I don't know if I'm going to eat a biscuit for real. Might just save it for tomorrow. Oh boy. I love to get their KFC sauce. It's like their special sauce or whatever. Super bomb. Y'all should try it. But yeah. I'm going to just eat and watch the air vlog, y'all. And that's going to be about it for the night.
I'm sleepy. I gotta prepare for a meeting with a potential internship director. So I gotta create questions and I'm also working on my PowerPoint for our group presentation. It's coming up Thursday. This is right around the corner. And I checked it this morning. They created it yesterday. I checked it this morning. Nobody touched it. Which, oh, uh, where's my drink, y'all? Don't tell me I left my freaking drink. Ain't no way I left my drink. I think I got it on the table, but nobody touched it. So, y'all, I left my drink outside. So now I gotta go there. And I didn't. Hey, you guys. It is the next day. It is 10 o'clock. I'm sorry if it seemed like your girl is always in the car. Like, why, why are you always in the car? Outside of the car. But this morning, I had my internship meeting with a possible internship. Well, I'm not going to say possible. My internship that I will be going to fulfilling in the fall, starting in September, is in Fairfax County. It's basically DMV area. Like, it's near DC, it's near Richmond. And my client told me I would love the area. So I'm super excited to meet with wonderful. Basically, I got the intern. <laughs> I got the intern basically because she was like, that the meeting was like an interview and then all I had to do was you know talk to my advisor get the needed paperwork finalized like as far as the contract with the school and their facility and whatnot and then this car is mad loud like but as far as the paperwork goes i had to get that done i had sent her my resume she emailed me recently and said that she didn't see an attachment so when i get settled i'm gonna definitely send that over to her so yeah i had to send her the resume i already contacted the internship advisor at the school about a contract with them and i cc'd her underneath so she's able to see it as well because she was very open didn't mind to fill out any paperwork that she might need to and she was like if she needs to have like a virtual you know discussion with the intern advisor that she would do that as well and uh, yeah she was like basically after that once everything is finalized and I you know get uh, an understanding of how the intern housing would go I would basically go there 30 days before the start date which is that the start date is pretty flexible so um, y'all don't know my lease ends here in Winston in September anyway so it's a perfect time and so whatever I gotta look at when my lease ends and stuff and then I'm gonna see what would be the best start time because it's drivable it's only like three hours and so I'm like three hours long. Y'all probably like, that's a lot. But I mean, I'm used to driving it because that's how far I have to drive to go back home. I'll see y'all when I'm going to get my lashes done. Did you ever wonder why you knew you ever wonder what he might be going through on his own end? The demons that he's facing alone. I though sometimes I can't go home, it just ain't the same on the phone, no. But everybody's got a go, don't they? Yes, we do. So if you need a hero,
for y'all. So, lashes is done. It is 121. We was in there chatting and stuff. I'm about to go ahead and head back home. I was going to eat down, get some food from somewhere with Kev. But Kev got a client coming. And I'm about to just go ahead and do what I need to do. Because I got some homework that needs to be done. I'll probably just call me in some food from Cracker Barrel. Because I have a taste for it real bad. Some of that chicken breast it's like broccoli cheddar chicken but it's busting so. oh they got mac and cheese i think i'm gonna get a baked sweet potato with it and oh, let me see that's what i'm about to order I'm gonna wait to call him until I get closer to Cracker Barrel because I'm not gonna handle cold food. Well, at least when I get on the highway, so yeah. <clears throat> okay, y'all, so sourdough toast. You know what? I'm not gonna know and this is my food. Yeah, know, so let me pause my YouTube. So, this is the broccoli cheddar chicken, turnip greens, mashed potatoes, and gravy. Then, watch KB and Carla video and eat. I truly got a headache, y'all, because I'm so hungry, but. See y'all later. Hey y'all, it is Thursday. Your girl just got in Zoom class, so. <laughs> I'ma catch up with y'all at the Zoom class cause our professor want the camera one, so. And I got a group presentation, so yeah. I'll see y'all in a few. Pray for me. That was everyone. Hey y'all, so your girl is finishing up some assignments. Well, I actually finished my assignments this due today, and that was behind. But now, I just submitted an ID journal, which was 50 freaking points that's due tomorrow. So, I went ahead and finished that. I'm going to start editing right now because um, it needs to be out by tomorrow. I want it out to by tomorrow, preferably, because it's like my busiest time. Y'all, let me just say this. I have been having such a complicated time this week. The devil been trying to get me, but God has been protecting me. Let me let me say that. And today, I feel like my professor was trying to like try me because I misunderstood some things and I was behind on some things, you know. And I know that. I know I won't prepare for my meeting. But like she wasn't being concerned at all. And I really had a lot going on. Like, you know, I felt very, I felt this is the most overwhelmed that I've ever felt my whole four year of college. Even when I was a nursing major, I did not feel like this. So, like, that alone says a lot. I feel like the program that I'm in is very unorganized. And, you know, some people need to be replaced. And it's just been a lot going on, y'all. If y'all want a story time about my you know, undergrad, college experience, I would definitely give it to y'all. My internship meeting went wonderful. I don't know if I checked back in with y'all about that, but it went wonderful. I basically got the internship, y'all. The internship is mine. Your girl's going to be in the DMV area coming September, basically. I'm going to already speak it to existence. And... I just been, you know, doing my homework. I have I've been behind on like my real content. You know, if y'all follow me on Instagram, which y'all should make sure y'all do that now if y'all haven't. Cause I was posting every day. I was trying to post every day on my TikTok. Trying to keep up with my lash business, trying to promote my lash business, trying to keep up with school. And it's just been a lot going on. You know, it's a lot. I know it's not easy and I know this is what I got myself into, but it's like this is what I love to do. Like I look forward to editing. Like, I'd be glad to finish editing just to, I mean, finish homework just to start editing my videos. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, right now, I'm about to edit my last with me, my day in life of lash tag video. Right now, it's two hours. It's not going to be two hours. I just got to cut all that lash content when I was doing lashes down. But, I feel like it's going to be not too bad. I feel like I'm pretty quick on it. I just want to update y'all. Just be real. Because, like, I've been so unmotivated. My motivation been on zero. Motivation been on zero. For school, number one. Um, I've, I've been kind of getting discouraged. I have my discouraging moment as far as my YouTube content journey. But I know God will reach 
the audience that's meant for me and the audience that's beneficial to me and beneficial to y'all. So, you know, I'm going to stay patient, stay grinding, God working on me one thing at a time. So, I'm very blessed and very fortunate. These past couple of days, I've been making sure to listen to my gospel podcast, Joelle Osteen. If y'all need a gospel podcast, something to do, look forward to when you wake up. Start you off on a good note, a good positive note. With a worship, <laughs> y'all check this podcast out called Joelle Osteen. God has been the only thing that's been keeping me through, y'all. Like a lot of y'all not. God has really been on my side, but the devil has tried to be on the other one. And God and the devil just going back and forth because I'm not letting the devil get to me. I literally almost had a breakdown today. I had a breakdown a couple of days before. Like, I think it was probably like the other day. The other day. Whatever day I didn't check in with y'all. And one thing I'm not going to do is get on camera when I'm just not feeling it. When the vibe is not good. Because it's always good vibes here, you know. But I'm also keep it real with y'all and tell y'all what I'm going through. Because a lot of times social media just betrays this perfect image. Perfect lifestyle. Always happy. Always, you know, joyous. Always, you know what I'm saying? When I'm human, I'm not the biggest. I'm the biggest content creator, but, like, you know, my audience is still growing. So, like, I just want to say, like, you know, don't let social media really get in y'all head that y'all not enough, that y'all not doing enough, that y'all won't be successful, that y'all behind y'all path because y'all not. Just pray about it. Really try to get aligned, reflect, reflect the people around you because it's always important to have the right-minded people the right positive people, and the right people that's there for good intentions. So, yeah. I just want to say that it's 11 or 2. Now I'm about to start editing my YouTube video. And, yeah. So, let's get into it. I just want to update y'all. and I'm going to just talk, check back in with y'all later. I have some fun things planned. We have a going away cookout party Saturday. And we're also going to go, like, turn up, celebrate for my friend's going away party celebration. She's having an internship all the way in Colorado, y'all. So, I'm so excited for her. I'm so ha happy for her, honestly. And she she deserves it. We deserve to, you know, <laughs> celebrate for the accomplishments and the milestones that we've been dealing with. So, yeah. And I plan on creating, like, a little basket for her. So, y'all just going to see that. I'm going to pick some things up tomorrow. And, yeah. This an update, so y'all stay tuned. Love y'all. Hey y'all. My battery is low key finna die. I need to make sure that I have some batteries in my purse because we finna go back inside. Okay, I do. Hopefully it's charged though. I gotta double check, but anywho, y'all, um, I'm about to head out to go to like Marshall's TJ Maxx or somewhere to pick out my friend going away gift. I want to make her like a look, cute little basket, some stuff that she can use, and I'm hungry as hell, so I'm actually about to go to this new uh, Korean like hot dog spot. I think it's called K-Stop because I want to try the hot dog and I'll probably just get some fries and eat that and try that and go to Dollar Tree to see if I can find some items and then I'll go to Marshall CJ Maxx so the things that I couldn't find there and yeah it is 4 15 it's a beautiful day outside I'm gonna put it back I gotta get some gas oh I hate getting gas like some ghetto I kind of want to push it until I can't push it no more. I've been wanting some pelicans too, so I might also go to pelicans with y'all. And I got some homework to do. So once I finish all the errands, do some homework because I got like four or five assignments that I had to do today. I'm really sleepy if I'm being honest. I want to take a nap, so yeah. Um, I might go somewhere, do my homework. I want to be outside, honestly. Like, yeah. It's beautiful. It's supposed to have been raining because it rained yesterday, but the forecast say when I checked it early, like 30%. So, yeah, I'm glad I got my vlog out today. 
I should do the lash tag vlog. I'm gonna see how it does on my channel. If y'all like, if y'all watching this and y'all like lash videos, lash content and stuff, let me know because you know I'm still figuring it out. But yeah, 73 degrees. It feels cooler than that. Cause I got shorts on y'all. It says seven percent now. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and run these errands. And check in with y'all. So let's go. Okay, y'all. So we made it. It's called K Stock Korean Street Eats. Understand nothing was done for me. So I don't plan on stopping at all. I want to shit forever, my never mind, never mind. Shut shit down in the mall. Hey y'all. So I know y'all kinda like at a weird angle, but Young girl got her food. I got the fries on the side. They like the McDonald's fries. I wish they had hot sauce. They soft though. And for it's cool how they put it in a container where most people put it like. So I end up getting the flaming hot one, all beef with sweet mayo and ketchup. That's what the girl said she get, so. I started to get with sweet mayo. I meant with spicy mayo, but. Oh, it got all messed up. It don't even look cute. Because all the stuff is up here. So I'm going to try it real fast because my other battery did not. So here we go, here we go huge mm. good. pretty good I got you used to it though <laughs> but yeah yeah I should back in when I get back from picking up stuff for the basket. Yeah, it is 8.26. And your girl, just not gonna leave. And we going, take a guess, take a guess. So, <laughs> number three. Love these bitches, not me. Ain't even in my league. Bounce back with a bigger boss and he got a seven figure paycheck. Last nigga can't flex. Strawberry cheesecake stuffed with ice cream. Strawberry cheesecake stuffed with ice cream. A small. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, there we are. No receipt. Thank you. Hey y'all, your girl got her snow cone. They, this is like to go so instead of it being like the dome they put it in a big of cup so it's tending to go because she asked me whatever but I better pull over here to get some gas because baby we're gonna be on the side of the road if not yo why my camera be like so close like it starts off a little further away but then it's like zoomed in I don't like that I'm gonna have to see with my settings but Finally about to try it because y'all the pump would not take my car for nothing. And I tried two different cars, but I waited to try it just for y'all. So I got strawberry cheesecake stuff with ice cream. It's like my go-to. Mm. Mm-hmm. The ice cream is what makes it for real. It's so good. Hey y'all, it is the next day. How are you guys doing? It is Saturday, 5.06. Fuck it, tuck it, tuck it. Okay, 5.06 y'all, and I'm rushing. I'm about to make 
my friend's basket. Cookout started at four, so I'm an hour behind, but I went and got this for the basket. I'm gonna go ahead and put these fillers in it. All these are from Dollar Tree, is what I didn't come to show y'all, cause I was busy doing homework, but I'm gonna literally just make it look cute in there. Y'all just gonna see me pack her back, her basket. This is so cute. The strings, the fillers are like pink, yellow. And I got like all color coordinated things. Air freshener, dryer sheet. I got this. Sponge for like dishes for when she, you know, moves into the house. That's our internship in Colorado. I got some razors. I got some Dove soap. I'm sorry, I got a mess down. I got some booster. This thing smells so good, like everything. First aid kit. At least I'm gonna be late and bring the gift. <laughs> I told her she already was gonna be late. I got this facial razor from the Dollar Tree. Super cute. Dollar Tree be having that stuff. I got like a bath soap pouch. She can hang it up in the shower because she do have a shared shower, so. I had some cleanser, couple we awesome cleanser, and it's pink. Yeah, I'm head ass right now. I'm trying to make it all look so easy. But I think I'm gonna put this more like in the middle because this is heavy. I hope y'all see. I got some socks, some pink socks. I'm gonna fold this up. Yeah, her basket gonna be nice and cool. I got some toothbrushes, a two pack. It's purple and blue. This is all I can fit this for with that. Look okay. here. I bought a pink like little backpack just in case if she wanna take it to her intern. I don't know where I'm gonna put this. Oh yeah. I still wanna make it look cute though. So that's all the things that I got her. And I'm gonna put it in these basket bags here. I had opened them up at the store to make sure that it was big enough because I was asking the lady and she didn't know. Okay, I'm gonna stand up. Ooh. Excuse all my other things. cross this fit. Oh yeah. Ah, this is gonna be so cute. this works. I don't know. I think it will. Yes! Now we're going to put the bow. And I decided to go with this like holographic little bow. Eat this. Simple, easy, easy. And I'm going to tie it 
tie it in between the loop to tighten it. Cause we got all that, y'all. Oh, this is so freaking cute. So cute, y'all. But yeah, that's the final look. I got my bags packed because me and Kev, all of us, the friends who were celebrating all going out downtown to the bar. And me and Kev are gonna be taking pictures. So I got my bag packed already. Just did a basket. Bag is packed. Let me show y'all. Excuse my room, but taking this. So yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna head out now, y'all, and I'll chit chat with y'all later. Y'all probably see some sneak peeks of like the cookout, the food and stuff, but Good time. Last name ever, first name greatest. Like a spring ankle, boy, ain't nothing to play with. Started off local, but thanks to all the haters, I know G4 pilots on a first name basis. In your city, faded off the ground. Nino, she insists she got more class. We know, swimming in the money, come and find me. Nemo, if I was at the club, you know I ball. Chemo, drop the mixtape, that shit sounded like an album. Who would have thought a countrywide tour would be the outcome? Labels want my name beside an X like Malcolm. Everybody got a deal. I did it without one. Yeah, nigga, I'm about my business. Killing all these rappers, you would swear I had a hit list. Everyone who doubted me is asking for forgiveness. If you ain't been a part of it, at least you got to witness. Bitches. It may not be nothing to y'all. Understand nothing was coming to me. So I don't feel no stopping at all. Wait, hold on, I gotta pop mine. Where's my phone? Luna Zool. Luna Zool. Cheers to us growing our platform. Ah! Cheers to my girl finna hit. Well, she already hit 1K. We just gonna say that. And cheers to my girl graduating. You know, college. cheers to me. The three girls. You know, cheers to me with the internship. You know, cheers to our business growing and flourishing. Cheers to new clients always. Cheers to to growing close to God. Like God, forgive us, but God, we love. <laughs> We just have a good time. We just have a good time. Good and you know what's worse. Come on. Cheers for success. Cheers. And to a good night. Amen. Good safe night. Cheers. <laughs> we love Sprite. Why well, I'm always putting this up on myself? We are not grown women stuff so Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cause I can do another one. Yeah, I know. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, big kid. Ah. See, cause she finna do too much, y'all. Big. She finna do too much. Y'all know if y'all if y'all real OGs, y'all know I'll be. I'll be running. Don't go to Waffle House with, with a chain like like she got them. They gonna charge you thirty five for a Waffle House. <laughs> Stop. Okay, y'all. So. My boo, it was one night he was leaving the club or whatever, and I told him I wanted to try the waffle sandwich. You know the viral waffle sandwich that, that's been going around? This man goes to Waffle House and get the waffle sandwich, and our meal together was $65. I'm just trying to figure out how that, and mind you, the lady told him it was about, she was like, it's gonna be real high because like it's so popular, it's a popular drink, and it ended up being $65. So, Kate feels like, she added her own tip in there because he had she a did. chain on. <laughs> he had a chain on. Yeah, because you can't. You, you, just, <laughs> yeah. you know, they probably wasn't bad of a tip. They're like, yeah, he got it. He probably not even going to notice. It's your outfit. It's your outfit. Hey, y'all. So, I'm currently at the gas station. I just pumped my gas. Today is the next day. Last night was lit. It was a vibe. We had went to Greensboro downtown at this club. What well, is a bar called Richie's? Got a couple of drinks. I think I had about about three drinks, and it was a vibe. Like they played like current R and B hip hop music as well as like the 2000 type of vibe music. So 
me and Kev left church about 10, 20 minutes ago. Church was very good. I want to share y'all the word for today. Parts of the word. Set free to serve, embracing your purpose. Some of the key things that I took from it that I'm gonna share with y'all is that before you want something, you have to make God your everything and not your part time. Never any challenges make us overlook God's goodness. The purpose of freedom is to serve. When you cry out to God, he hears you. Set free to serve, embracing your purpose. And this is coming from Exodus 8 1. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with y'all. Definitely a good word. I enjoyed my time there. And yeah, I'm gonna leave now. Me and Kat's gonna head to Ulta and Marshall's to do a little skincare shopping. So yeah. It don't be hard to blend. Uh, Ten bad bitches oh. in a man. Bricks on really rock on diamonds on me dance. Hey y'all, so it is the end of the night. I took my shower. Earlier I had washed my clothes and I worked out. You know, typical Sunday stuff. But I, before I close out this video, I just want to show y'all what I got from Ulta today because my camera did die on me. And I want to show y'all what I got from Forever 21. And also from the product store because I never showed you guys. Showed you guys exactly what I got. Start off with what I got from the outlets when I went to Smithfield Smithfield with my mom and the Crocs store. I can't wear I can't wait to wear them. But these are my Crocs y'all. Y'all ready? Oh, they look big on camera. But anyway this is like a pretty yellow pastel type of color but it's like bright. Something like springy, summerish that I don't have in my collection. So I got that. And I also got this like disposable bag because it had some gibbets on sale. Like you would get three packs of the gibbet sets and this along with Croc cleanser for like $13. So that was a steal because y'all know Croc gibbets be like, like one thing one be $5. But they actually have some cute ones. So this is a gibbets bag. It has like different of the gibbets on it, which I find very cute. Front and back with different ones. Super cute. So on the inside, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the gibbets that I got, the gibbet sets. So we have some puff balls. Super cute. It's a black one. This is kind of like zebra print and this is cheetah print. Super cute and different. Never had those type of gibbets at all. And the gibbets I've only had before was some that I purchased from when I went to Atlanta, Florida. And some gibbets my friend had gave me. So, yeah. This is one of them. You have the donut. The skating gibbet. Like a little DVD disc. Like CD disc. A star, a rainbow, and a flower. Super cute. These describe me pretty well. And then we have this one. We have a heart, cow print heart right here. Peace sign, another pink heart, a pink flower. We have a pink heart and a star. So yeah, those are the three gibbet packets that I got. And this is what the Crocs clean look like. And I'm glad they had this like that. It's called Croc Shine. Because y'all know, y'all wear Crocs. Y'all know those crocs get so dirty so freaking fast. So yeah. All of that, all of this was $13 plus the bag. So that was definitely a steal. Now I'm gonna show y'all what I got from Forever 21 outlet. I had a lot of items that I had thought I was gonna like, but once I tried them on y'all, they deceived me. So most of my stuff is kind of like workout stuff. I bought this pretty basic white tee but it's like ribbed on the side with like the lines and like the detail on the back and it has like a cut right here i don't know if y'all can tell or not it's like a v cut right here super cute i found this black and white workout jumper and even if i'm not working out i would definitely still want to wear this out 
And the something that I like about it is the outline like of the boob area and like a contour of your body. That's super cute. The material, the material is very stretchy and comfortable. I also found this black and white sports bra. Pretty straightforward. Nothing too, you know, fancy. It does have like the little holes in the back though. So if you're sweating or anything, it's gonna be breathable. I picked up this black dress. It's like one of those, what's it called? Is it like a romper dress? I can't think of the name. A halter dress. And it has like this sheer type of material. I don't know if y'all can tell on camera, but it's like a shine to it. And the back is out. You know, this would be cute like on a, a date night for me or a girls night. Even going out to wear food taking pictures and all that good stuff and then the last item that i got was another heart to top in this nude color it's very different with the buttons in the front and then like the little cute pockets it's wrinkly though don't mind that but it's giving brunch for this so i got that and my total that i spent for forever 21 was 35 23 so not bad most of the items like five seven dollars there was even some stuff, I think, for $3, I think. But that's the stuff from Forever 21. Now we're going to get into Ulta. Y'all, like, why are we going? It's like, at this point, I be going to Ulta every week. Like, this is ridiculous. But all the stuff that I got was skincare and makeup stuff that I actually needed. Okay. But... I went ahead and got this special cleansing gel, Dermalashka. I used, if you watch my Miami vlog, I used this cleanser throughout the whole time. Focus. I used this cleaner, cleanser the whole time when I was in Miami. And my skin was skinning, glowing. I had no problems. My redness toned down completely. So once my old cleanser ran out, I just said, yeah, I'm going to get that Dermalashka. Also got the Dermalogica Moisturizer. This is a skin smoothing cream. It doesn't feel heavy at all. It doesn't feel over overly hydrating. I also bought the toner that Kev used as well. This is the Dermalogica Antioxidant AGE Smart one. And it's hydrating and firming. So it has like the anti-aging benefits. Which, I mean, I liked it. And I didn't want to try nothing that, that I haven't tried. So, even though it's firm and I mean, shoot. Work on it early before you see late. <laughs> I bought this Maybelline Great Lash Lots of Lashes Mascara. I was actually inspired by Bad Nana to get this because she always uses this on bottom lashes. And they look fine. I bought two lip liners by NYX. One is the Lying Loud Lip Liner. I don't know if y'all can see, but yeah. And the shade of this one is uh, Rebel Kind. This is like a dark, dark brown. And it's like, it gives me, I don't know. It's, it's like, I'm going to show y'all. Y'all keep watching. Y'all going to see. All browns are not different, okay? <laughs> then I got like this hazelnut looking color in the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner one. And this color is called Code Brew, which is very cute. I went ahead and bought me another concealer color in the Tarte Shape Tape. Because ever since I went to Miami, got this tan. My makeup has been off a little bit. And I've been having to struggle to, you know, contour, make my skin look even. I bought me some Real Technique brush sets. It comes with four brushes and a foundation sponge. And once for blush, you have the Miracle Complexion Sponge, the Deluxe Crease Brush, Expert Face Brush, and the Setting Brush. So, yeah, I always like the Real Technique sponges, but never tried their brushes, and I think their brushes are very good. So, you know, if I got the lip liners, you know, I got the glosses. Everybody loves the Nix Butter Glosses. I got this pink one, which is beautiful, y'all. It is the shade Vanilla Cream high and i got this purplish looking one never got a color like this before 
super excited to see what this looks like and marshmallows i also got a cream contour that i've been needing because i've only been using like powder for like bronzing is the ulta beauty brand contour and the shade that i got was a dark neutral I picked up some Elf Putty Blush in the shade Blush Paints, I think. Yeah. No, I think it's Turks and Caicos, actually, y'all. Sorry. It's like an orange, pretty peachy blush. They want to try a putty blush for the longest. And I also bought this ColourPop Pressed Highlight Powder. I've had their other highlight, but it wasn't like the pressed powder. It was like in that little small thing. And this gives more natural vibes, which I like. But I feel like it's more noticeable, like with the like light hitting on you. Like if not the light not hitting on you, you're not gonna tell that you really have how like to me personally. And since I spent like I think over twenty dollars with NYX products, they gave a free gift. So it comes with like a lip liner, an under eye liner. It's like a gold shimmer color. I hope y'all can see. They have this marshmallow primer right here. And then they have like a cream lip color. It's like a burgundy color. So I'm excited I was able to get, you know, a little free something. And my total that I spent from Ulta was $184. It cost to be a bad bitch. But no, like, investing in my skincare and investing in your makeup products is definitely going to be worth it. And y'all, I bought some new foundation. Like I said, my color did change. So I got my little Sephora baggie. And I picked up the NARS. Long, it's like the natural radiant longwear foundation. Super, super excited to do my makeup, y'all. Like, this is going to set it out between this, my brushes, my new skincare routine. Yeah. And the shade I got was medium, medium one. And y'all can screenshot this if y'all need to. But yeah. And that's it. And the foundation was like, like $54. I can show you my exact receipt. $53.38. So yeah, $54. <laughs> but that's it as far as my haul and showing you guys what I got. Hope you guys enjoyed my first weekly vlog. Let me know how you guys like this. I have so much stuff planned for you guys. I can't wait. Can't wait to be done with school because y'all was with me like my last week of like regular classes of school like classes but next week i have like finals and final presentation and stuff but yeah y'all if you're new here and you haven't subscribed to your girl make sure you hit that subscribe button follow me on my socials to connect with me my tiktok and my instagram so you can see other stuff besides just youtube and stay tuned hit that like button if y'all enjoy it comment connect with me because i want to talk to y'all but like what's up <laughs> But yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, good night.